What's up guys, Forrest here. In a recent video, I asked y'all to ask me computer science questions considering I haven't made a computer science related video in quite some time. And the fact that I know many of y'all just started your computer science degree a couple months ago and you're closing in on finishing up that semester. So what I've done is I've gone through that video, through all of the comments. I also made a community post, went through all of the comments, and I've selected quite a few questions that we're gonna go over in this video. Now let's get started. If this is something that you're into, computer science, software engineering, consider subscribing and like this video if you do end up liking it. What would you say is the best or most useful major in computer science? I want to be a software engineer, but I'm unsure whether to major for that or computer science just in case. What is a universal major? So my understanding of this question kind of changed throughout this whole entire comment. Let's start off with the first. What would you say is the best or most useful major in computer science? With that, my mind goes straight to emphasis. So you're asking what is the best emphasis within computer science? Because computer science is the degree, and then you can have an emphasis like what I did in, uh, for a second there, I didn't even remember. It was in machine learning and app development. There's also areas like cybersecurity, networking, web app development, or something along those lines. It depends on what your exact uh, college, the curriculum it is, and what it offers. Now that is completely personal preference. Yeah, I know it's not a decisive answer, but I can't really answer for you. It's like me saying, hey, you know what the most fun thing in the world is? It's getting in a truck and doing donuts in a cornfield. Well, you may not like that too much. It's just objective. It's my own opinion. I'm not saying that is the most fun thing to do in the world, but it's a lot of fun. I can't make that decision for you. What you need to figure out is maybe you can go through a few different classes or talk to people who have done that emphasis or who are doing that particular work in their job. Really, uh, reach out to people on LinkedIn or, or talk to your advisor, your professors, just to get a better understanding of whatever the emphasis is. Your best bet is to just try each one. That way you can realize what you actually like. And let me say this, if you're just gonna look at, okay, well this person gets paid $80,000 a year, this one gets paid $90,000 a year, I'm gonna go with the $90,000 a year one. Don't look at it that way. Because if you genuinely like one path, but you decide to go the other one because you think you can make more money, you'd probably be making more money down the line going down the path you actually like. The next part of this question is about software engineer and unsure if you should major in that or computer science. So I'm assuming you're going to a college that offers like a software engineering degree, which I don't think many honestly offer a software engineering degree or a computer science degree. And you follow that up with what is a universal major? I would say the universal major is computer science because you can have a computer science degree and go the software engineering route. There are also various other routes. I made a video a couple years ago about career paths in computer science. I'd recommend taking a look at that one. But when it comes to software engineering, in a way you're pigeonholing yourself. Now, I don't know how accurate that statement is because you know if you, you can figure out how to engineer software, develop software, there's gonna be a lot of different employers that are going to grab you up just because they know you can do that, then you could probably do this. But computer science gives you a basic understanding. It's more broad than just uh, focusing on one emphasis like software engineering. What part-time jobs should I be working while in school as a CS student? As fast as you can, work towards getting a, a job that is applicable to what you want to do in life. If you're getting your computer science degree because you want to be a software developer, then try to work towards getting a software development internship. Can't get a software development internship, just get whatever computer science related internship that you can, or at least work towards that. Other than that, just pick a job that will make you a good amount of money so you can offset any of these calls that you may accrue while you're going to college. And also, when it comes to these internships, as a computer science major, you should be getting paid. Next question, what book do you recommend to have a better scope of computer science, which include the paths and stuff like that? Thanks for your content. I don't know what book there is that says, okay, here are the computer science paths. I mentioned earlier that I have made a video about that. But the main books that I've used in terms of computer science, Here's some right here. Now, these are actually more programming books, but that is a lot of what you do in computer science. Basically, a lot of my books were what my classes required for the books. Not every class that required a book did I buy a book, because a lot of eh, some of the times you didn't really need the book, but for those that I needed, they really helped out a lot. So what I'm saying is the books that I used for computer science were the books that my teachers told me to buy. And this comment is from the video, they surveyed 90,000 developers. That was probably the smoothest sponsor plug I have ever seen. And that was in regard to my Skillshare sponsor plug from that video. 
And I would like to also think that this is a smooth way of integrating Skillshare as a sponsor in this video. The first thing I like to talk about Skillshare is that they're offering you two months of Skillshare Premium for free when using the link in the top of the description. Skillshare is an online learning platform for creators like you and I, software developers, web developers, video creators. They have tens of thousands of courses in the realm of technology, logo design, web design, freelancing, business, marketing, photography, videography, and the list just goes on and on. Hello, I'm Chris Heilmann. I'm from Berlin, Germany. I work for Microsoft at the moment. I've been a web developer for 20 years and and right now I'm getting into the whole AI machine learning space to see how computers can help us even more. I recently designed a logo for a company that I'm going to be launching at the beginning of 2020. And this guy right here, incredibly entertaining. Hello Skillshare students, enthusiasts, and hungry minds. My name is Aaron James Draplin. I'm 40 years old. I'm a graphic designer here in Portland, Oregon. He really kept me engaged and I really enjoyed taking his course. What sources would help a computer science student supplement their learning the best? Anything on Java would be nice. I think doubling down on your coursework would be best to supplement your computer science. Yeah, supplement, that may be the right way to go about the term supplementing, but I think that'll be better for you because if you're able to focus in on what you're learning in class and really, really understand it, it'll help you for the next class. And if you can do that for the next class, then you will really, really understand that one and you'll take that information to the next class. So if you could really double down on what you're doing in school, unlike me who decided to do an internship and full-time coursework and YouTube channel and iOS development, I really spread myself thin. If I could, if I could really focus myself on computer science and my classes at hand, I think I would be a better programmer today. As a computer science undergrad, when applying to internships, which information should I include in my CV and cover letter, and how should I structure them? I've talked plenty of times about how to go about getting a job as a software engineer. I think that will heavily apply to how to get a job as a computer science student. But instead of focusing on your past experiences at work, talk about the skills that you have gained in school, talk about the classes you have taken in school, and highlight those. Highlight what you have done in school because because that is what will apply over to your internships. They understand that you're a student, that you don't have all of the you know three years experience as a software developer, considering you're coming in as an intern. So highlight what you have done in school, the projects that you have worked on, the classes that you have taken, the skills that you have gained, and make sure that you always suit your resume to the job list, the internship listing at hand. What projects have you done to gain internships? What projects do you recommend freshmen to take on in order to have a chance at internship? The main projects that I listed on my resume when I was applying to different computer science internships were all done in class. I had built upon a hangman application. I did this like dust simulator thing in C++ if I recall correctly. All of that was done in my computer science courses. As a freshman, maybe you haven't experienced it, all of those projects. I think that working on small, simple applications will help you in your self-esteem because if you try to take on a huge application, you may get 20% of the way done and then you're like, this this is kind of a little bit a little bit too difficult for me to finish. So I'd rather have an application that is small but complete than big and incomplete. And I think that if you work on one that you actually like and enjoy, it'll help come across when you're explaining that to someone in an interview, you'll be more proud of that and you actually get it done. What would you recommend a student to do before entering their first year as a CS major? I've made a video on this as well, preparing as a computer science student. Not sure what I even talked about in that video because it's been like a year or two, but talk to your advisor there's gonna be a computer science advisor that wants you to come to the school. That's kind of part of their job is to get people into the computer science program. They will bring up some resources to you that'll lay out the four or five year path, typically four year. And it'll say, all right, this is what you gotta take in semester one. This is what you gotta take in semester two. You're able to see a whole entire diagram of what you need to take before what, prerequisites, co-requisites, things of that nature. You get a better understanding of what that uh, uh, curriculum is going to be like, what that program is going to be like, and then do a little bit of research on your own. If you know that you're going to be taking these five classes in your first semester, I'm not sure how many of those for you are going to be computer science classes. However, read the description of those five classes and start doing research. If you want to hop into the programming side of things because you haven't done anything yet, maybe you have, maybe you haven't, go ahead and look what programming language that they start you off with. For my school, it was Java. Well, actually, I took a semester at a different school and that was Java. For ODU, I believe it was C++. And then they migrated us into Java. So if I were to just do a four year stint at 
ODU, the school that I went to, I would have focused on C++ because that is what they're going to teach us. And you want to make sure you dial in on one programming language, get really good at that, and it'll be easy to spread your skills along to other programming languages. Hey, I'm planning on starting my CS degree fall 2020, so about a year from now. What do you think it's most important to prepare for or get good at in summer? Algorithms, math, maybe calculus, or learning a programming language, probably Python, since we learned a tiny bit about, about it in this year of high school. And thank you for your videos. Super helpful. Love watching them. Appreciate that. Personally, I did no preparation when it came to my computer science career in college. However, if you do want to get a head start, yes, algorithms, math, you will be looking into calculus, you will be taking two to three calculus courses, you will be taking linear algebra, statistics. So when it comes to math, that is what you wanna focus on. And when it comes to the programming language, look at whatever curriculum, college that you're applying to, that whatever language that they offer, and focus on that. Don't, don't worry about what the high school taught you, in my personal opinion. Don't worry about what they taught you, what language they focused on. Focus on the language in which you're about to learn. Don't focus on what you've done in the past, focus on what you're about to do in the future. Can I still become a software engineer with a computer engineering degree? Because right now I feel like I'm not studying for my dream job. Computer engineering is definitely different than software engineering. Typically when it comes to, when someone's referring to computer engineer, they're referring to hardware. When someone is talking about software engineer, they're talking about software. So if what you really wanna be is a software engineer, then I would recommend majoring in computer science or software engineering if that is a major at whatever college you may go to. Computer engineering is, is my understanding that you do take a handful of programming courses, so you could potentially become a software engineer if you wanna be a software engineer. Next question. How does your professional developer team work and what should students look forward to in terms of habits for the pro environment? Well, when I was in college, computer science, we actually had a software engineering course, which actually laid out fairly well of what you were to expect in like a professional environment as a software engineer, software developer, whatever you want to call yourself. I've laid this out in videos past, like how to go about completing a software engineering task and a day in the life of a software engineer, which brings me back around full circle to the fact that a lot of these questions asked, many that I'm not going to be going over in this video, I've already made a video about. Even a lot of these questions that I'm going over, I've made a video about, but I wanna give you a brief understanding and I'll direct you to a more detailed video that I've created in the past, like, like a day in the life of a software engineer, because that is actually what it's like as a day in the life. Like they, that's what it's like to work in a pro team. But to give you a brief overview, Typically you'll do stand up sometime in the morning. This is where you talk about what you did yesterday, what you plan to do today, and you have any impediments, anything that you need to work out with somebody or, or any problems you're facing to that, that'll, that'll prohibit you from moving forward in whatever task you're working on. Typically you're gonna be using a project management software like Jira, and you're gonna be working in sprints. You have meetings with your team, you have meetings with a client, which could very well be the end user, so you need to get feedback of what they want and what they're expecting and then give you your own twist on it because you can't just let the end user, you can't just let them determine everything. You need to compromise or else you're gonna have an application looking a little bit like this. You don't want an application looking a little bit like that. You want it to look neat, you want it to be clean, you want it to work well and allow them to have all the functionality that they have but in a, a way that makes sense. That is your job, the engineer. And something really to look forward to for computer science students when you're about to hop into that software development, the professional environment, and that is the fact that you're gonna be working with people that are a lot smarter than those you have been working with in school. If you've done a lot of teamwork, you may have had some, some good people, or maybe some bad people, some good experiences, maybe some bad experiences with teamwork within your computer science degree, but when it comes to the uh, professional environment, there are a lot of very smart people where you're able to bounce ideas off of and talk to when you, when you come into a problem, and you're gonna be learning a lot more, a lot quicker, because you're gonna be doing it a lot more and you're gonna have all of these resources at your disposal like the people around you. How would you rate competitive programming? Where would you like to go, coding projects or a coding competition? Me personally, never done competitive programming. Sure, I've hopped on Hacker Rank and, and the like and done some of those little, little contests, not really contests, some of those little problems that they have offered on there, but I've never gone to a competitive uh, coding competition. I like to just sit back in the comfort of my own office and code up my own projects. Everyone has heard of the advice to code every day or to practice code regularly. How does one develop the discipline to consistently do so despite of difficulties that one may stumble upon the way? You basically said the answer in your question that is discipline. How does one develop the discipline to consistently? Well, 
It's basically with whatever else you do in life. How does one develop the discipline to go to the gym every day? How does one develop the discipline to read every day? How does one develop the discipline to get up at 4 a.m. and go work or run or do whatever you need to do that day? And it's just a habit, consistency. There are gonna be difficulties, but you need to have the discipline in order to get the job done. And I firmly stand behind that fact of code regularly, code every day if you wanna get better, because just like anything else in life, if you're like, I'm a big UFC fan, if you're gonna be fighting every single day, not like taking blows to the head, but practicing and training, you're gonna get a lot better than the person who does it once a week. Same thing goes with anything else in life that you do. Hey, I just applied to college as a CS major. What background in coding do I need to know before? And what should I have mastered so I'm not lost? I have experienced coding. Well, if you have experienced coding, you have more experience in the realm of computer science than I ever did entering my computer science degree. So what do you need to know before? Nothing. But knowing more will definitely help. I've given advice earlier in this video. Look at the curriculum try to brush up on what they learn. You can may find, you may be able to find some of the classes curriculum, the specific classes that you're going to be taking in computer science online, and you can actually study some of that work. You're just not able to access the homework or the assignments or the coding projects, but you can see a lot of what they study online, start studying.